So it turns out um, I know why I posted all those freaking videos lately. Um, on April 1st and onward, I posted like all these videos of just me talking. Um, well, I, I got into this book called Planet Transits. Um, after, I mean, I've had it well before Cosmos and Psyche, but I understand it now after Cosmos and Psyche. Um, Jupiter entered um, 20 degrees Aquarius on April 1st. And that's exactly where my sun is, so I'm having a Jupiter um, just transit over my sun's original placement. And so that's, you know, that makes a lot of sense to me. I mean, some of y'all might not care, but um, once you know about it, the shit adds up. I mean, astrology has answered so many questions, you know. And, um, I really can't wait till Jupiter conjuncts Neptune come November. Then it'll be like, whew, hopefully, I'll, I'll have some realizations, and y'all will too. Um, been watching a lot of a uh, Coughlin six 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 videos. That fool's hilarious. I mean, I like how he says that. I like how he um, he says that he, he's an atheist, but he he wants to make sure that people understand that he never said there is no God. Even though he's an atheist, um, he's he knows that there might be something higher, and I just think that's really humble of him. And you know, straight. I mean, TJ, amazing atheist, has just been like flat out. There's no nothing. And, you know, that's just kind of boring. I'm glad uh, Coughlin is at least um, a little more modest in that regard. And uh, Venom Fang X. His videos just get more and more ludicrous. And like, I mean, it's. I mean, I don't know if he's going to hell, you know, the real hell, because he is blinded so much. I mean, I wonder if ignorance is bliss. Then I mean, is it a sin to be dumb? I mean, that's a that's a good question. Is is it like, um. Should you be punished for not knowing the truth? I mean, is it the intent? Is it that you don't want to know? Or is it that you don't care to find out neutrality? Is is neutrality a sin? That's, I guess, the big question is, you know, like, if you're fundamentalist about something, then everyone else must go to hell. I mean, that's a big question, too, like, why would God create atheists to deny his existence? You know, I mean, it's like Goethe said, if God wanted me otherwise, he would have created me otherwise. And I think that God created Hitler for a reason. God created Charles Manson for a reason, even Marilyn Manson, for a reason. I mean, so people like me could come back and prove him wrong.